Hi everyone, this is I'm Back Happy and welcome back to my channel. For this video, I will be sharing my bag restoration experience with a Philippine-based leather specialist and that is Leather Fix PH. I've been availing their services for almost two years, so what I'm doing is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I just wanted to share my experience with them through concrete examples, maybe show some before and afters. Uh, I'm basically just here to provide feedback because you might be thinking of going to them to have your luxury pieces serviced in the future. Now I have two examples to show you today. These are just two of the many items I've sent to them. One was modified and partially colored. The other was completely recolored or redyed. Before showing you these examples, do check out leatherfix.ph. There you can ask for an initial coat or book a pickup right away. I will link to their website and social media pages in the description box below. They have a lot of before and afters on their Instagram as well. Be sure to check them out if you want to see the magic that these guys can do. For the first example, I will be showing you a vintage Celine Macadam vanity case. I purchased this from HMD Heaven on Instagram and this was sold to me for under 10,000 pesos. I went for this because it is in line with the vanity case trend but it is a bit flatter in terms of silhouette. I just thought that it would be more functional as a bag compared to the more popular but more bulky vanity cases in the market. Right now, I'm showing you a video of what it looked like before I purchased it. It was in great condition. There were just a few marks on the top part, meaning the leather part. The canvas part is pretty much intact and undamaged. Overall, it's also gotten quite soft, but the shape has been maintained and it still has its structure. Uh, I had two things done. One, a small modification where I asked them to attach D-rings to the side and two, partial recolor of the leather parts and here's how it turned out. If you're familiar with the vanity case trend, you would know that people usually just attach straps to the handles in order to turn it into a bag. And I personally didn't just want to attach D-rings and straps to the handle. I wanted the D-rings to be on the sides here so that one, it won't affect the shape of the handle or the structure of the bag in the long run. And two, it won't be as annoying to open and close, especially when my perspective is like this and there are handles here. I prefer them to be here so that it's easier to open and close and I have quicker access to the bag. So let's review what they've done. Let's start with the partial color. So as you can see, the coloring on the top part is quite even. Even against the light, it looks gorgeous. It doesn't look like it's been recolored. And then as you can see, the D-ring here on the side is so well made. Other side. And let me open this up. What I love about this job and I'll show it to you, is that they actually had the good sense of removing the lining and attaching the D-rings on the inside without damaging the lining. So I can only imagine that they removed this, attached the D-ring and closed it up again. And the job that they did is so well made, so well done, so cleanly executed. Here on the other side, as you can see, there's a little stitching right there, but it doesn't bother me. What matters is that, you know, even if they attach these two, it doesn't seem like uh, it was added on. It seems like it was already part of the bag originally. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And given that I now have D-rings, I can now attach a strap to this vanity case in order to use it as a crossbody bag. I purchased a bag strap from Shopee, very inexpensive, and now I can turn this vanity case into a crossbody bag. Attach it to the sides. There you go. It just works out so much better this way for me rather than simply attaching D-rings to the handles. I feel like it's more convenient to use and it's just much more functional this way, I think. 
Now, in terms of costing, this was quite expensive. But given the great job that they did, I think it was well worth it. So it was 2,500 pesos for each of these D-ranks, totaling 5,000 pesos. And the recolor was another 2,500 pesos. So that's a total of 7,500 pesos for the entire job, which is roughly 150 US dollars. There you go, a vintage Celine Macadam vanity case that was revived, restored, and modified. For the second example, I will be showing you my vintage Chanel mini rectangular flap in an iridescent blush color. I purchased this from firstcurated.com and here's what it looked like when it was posted on the site. This bag really caught my attention because it's really cute. It's in a beautiful color, in decent condition. It was also priced well under 100,000 pesos, which is roughly under $2,000. However, given its pricing, as expected, it had a number of marks in dirt, especially given the light color. The color also has faded a bit. It doesn't have that iridescent sheen. The hardware also isn't as great as it used to be. When I had it authenticated, it was determined to be from the 01P collection. So it was probably bought around early 2001. So that's roughly 20 years old. Even with its age and condition, I thought that if I just had it fixed up a bit, it would look really gorgeous. It had that potential to uh, you know, go back to a really nice, gorgeous condition. So I used this bag for my wedding, after which I sent it to Leather Fix for a full recolor. And here's a quick reveal of how it turned out when I got it. Let me hold it against the light so you can see the sheen that it has. As you can see, they did a great job in achieving an iridescent pink shade. I have no idea how they got this gorgeous color right. Everything is so evenly done. Even the straps on the chain were redone and recolored. I'm letting the light hit it so you can see that it also has an iridescent sheen to it at the bottom see see that and the color is not too pink just like i told them i didn't want it to be too pink i wanted to retain its blush shade uh, i couldn't be happier with what they did with this bag now in terms of cost the full recolor including the chain strap uh, cost me 5500 pesos which is roughly a little over a hundred dollars for a Chanel bag, I think that is pretty much a standard rate here in the country. And given the great job they did at refreshing and reviving this vintage piece, every peso is well worth it. Just look at that. I was just so happy with what they did and this particular job solidified my loyalty to Leather Fix. I have been going to them and recommending them to my friends and followers ever since. So given these two examples, including others I haven't mentioned, I would definitely recommend Leather Fix PH if you're looking for a reliable leather specialist based in Metro Manila. They are very professional and very easy to deal with. I never got any headaches in dealing with them. And with what I always see on their Instagram page, a lot of other customers are happy with them as well. Well, before we end this video, I just wanted to add a note about recoloring your handbags. Recoloring and re-dyeing should be your absolute last resort. I suggest you really commit to a re-dye if one, you're absolutely sure that it's the only way to revive your bag wherein cleaning just won't work, and two, you are ready for the consequences that will come with a recolored bag. When leather is recolored, there will always be an effect as to how it will look. Uh, it will lose a bit of its shine and the leather may also dry out so you'd have to condition it a little more often. Also, do know that re-dyed bags lose much more of their value if you plan to resell it in the future. This is because a re-dye is considered a modification and any sort of modification will affect the value of your handbag. 
Now I'm going to show you two vintage pieces that I own. One was recolored or re-dyed and the other wasn't. So first, this is a re-dyed piece. And this is this small classic flap in a beige color. So the main effect of a re-dye is that the leather will tend to dry out. And from that, you can see that the wrinkles are much more apparent, especially if you zoom in. You can see those lines here. But, uh, you know, for a dye job, this is, this is a pretty good one because everything is even and it's not as obvious unless you really look at the nooks and crannies of it. And it's not really that shiny. There's a bit of shine, but it's because I conditioned this bag uh, every few months. Now I'm going to show you my small Diana flap, which is also a vintage piece, but it wasn't re-dyed. The shine is much more apparent. Uh, when I touch it, it's much smoother. Uh, I don't see, you know, the wrinkles are not as uh, dry. And there's still a bit of puff. And to the touch, it's still quite soft and supple because it's a lambskin piece. I also condition this regularly since it's already a vintage piece. But uh, if you take a look at them side by side, I just feel like this still looks more supple compared to this one. So I hope you take note of that if you're thinking of having your bag uh, recolored. And one last note, needless to say, it's very, very important that you make sure that a reputable leather care specialist will work on your bag. Otherwise, you run the risk of ruining your bag completely if they do a poor job at it. And there's always that risk. So be sure to do your research as to who you're sending your bags to. Uh, go to someone reputable, someone who has uh, a lot of positive feedback, someone who shares their before and afters online so that you see their body of work. Uh, and yeah, just be careful. That's all I have to say for this video. If you want to share your own bag restoration experience with any other service, do comment with your story down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe and share to show your support for my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Keep loving luxury and stay bag happy. Salamat!